Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back. We got some more Tales of Arise for you today, part 2. Gonna continue on with the main story, which I've been enjoying so far. Reminiscing here with my two lovely companions, Shion and... I forget this guy's name. That's uh, probably not a good sign, but whatever. I was looking at the downloadable content again, and uh, there is a disgusting amount of DLC for this game, and that's typical Bandai Namco fashion, I guess you could say. Let's rest, though. Get our health to full. A master core, huh? Now I see. So that's why Balsef's cronies were so desperate to catch her. Is that what it's called? The jewel in her chest? Oh, right. You don't remember a damn thing, do you? Ah, fair enough. I guess it's time to fill you back in. Tell me. You ever wonder why we Danans are made to work ourselves to the bone, day in, day out? Well, when you put it like that, I always just assumed we were mining resources for them. And don't you think it'd be quicker if they used all that high-powered tech they have? Why go to all the trouble of relying on weak human labor? Listen, what the Renans are really after isn't resources or minerals. It's astral energy. They're harvesting the astral energy that sleeps inside all matter in life forms. And they're doing it the same way they have for the past 300 years, using us Danans as mere siphons. Right. They have machines for minerals, but extracting from Danans requires spirit cores. Any astral energy collected passes through a spirit vessel on its way to being stored in a master core. But why go to the trouble of collecting all this energy in the first place? Do they really need all that juice just to use astral arts? It determines the Sovereign. Sovereign? Is that the Renan ruler? Exactly. Five lords, each doing whatever it takes to gather as much astral energy as they can and store it in their master cores. Whichever of them manages to accumulate the most power at the end of their contest is crowned the ruler of the Renan Motherland. A new crown contest, as they call it, is held every decade or so. So you see, the master cores are the receptacles in which the lords store their power. And we Danans are sacrificed, so the Renans can choose their new ruler. That's insane! You're telling me that's what our people have been dying for this whole time? Relax, hero. You're not the only one who's bent out of shape about the whole thing. There are two things that I haven't been able to get my head around yet. What business would a Renan have stealing a Master Corps? And what's the deal with that blazing sword? I think the sword is a physical manifestation of the Master Corps' astral energy. As for why it took the shape of a sword, well, I don't know any more than you do. Honest. And that stuff about needing your permission to use it? What was that about? I'm the only one of us who can control the Master Corps to some extent. Without me to adjust the flow of astral energy, the sword can't take a physical form. What do you want out of this? You may be one of them, but you don't strike me as the ruthless oppressor type. I'm going to take down all of the lords. Never thought I'd say this, but I like the cut of your jib, Renan. <laughs> Very well. As far as we're concerned, the struggle continues either way. And with that sword on our side, our chances of victory just increased. That is, of course, assuming we can count the two of you in. Fine by me. After all, it sounds like we're after the same thing anyway. I... <sighs> Honestly, I'm still a little confused by all this. But if it's a choice between this or going back to being a slave, then I choose to fight. Then it's settled. Together we'll overthrow the Renan Lords. And first up on that chopping block is Balsef, 
The wild beast. Sound good? Ball sack. That's all I keep hearing. Ball sack. Fuck was that music? We have another secret hideout in Ulzebek, not far from here. We should be able to meet up with our comrades there. Anyway, it's all right. Let's take a look at the map, shall we? Got to go to uh, teaming up with Zephyr. I think Zephyr's like the little kid or something. Kind of looks like a brat. Let's do another one of these comics. Cut it out! Didn't anyone ever tell you it's rude to stare? I know I already asked you this, but are you sure we haven't met somewhere before? What's so hard to understand? I'm Renan, you're Danon. There's no way. Besides, I'm from Lenigus. Trust me, wherever you were before you lost your memory, we've never crossed paths. Lenigus? You mean the same Lenigus that's up in the sky? I've heard it called the Renan's Castle. I never imagined people actually lived up there. Well then, where did you think we all lived? Didn't you see the Renan Lords descend for the crown contest? And how long ago was that? Well, the current contest started seven years ago, so... Then I wouldn't remember. Just how far back do you remember? About a year, give or take. That's how long ago Doc found me. One year. Then no. I'm sorry, but there really is no way we could have met. Guess not. Guess not. Yeah, so obviously those comics do take up a good amount of time. So I'm not going to be doing them like every five seconds, but I'll try to do them every once in a while, you could say. Got a lot of juicy things up ahead, looks like. We should Vita? be able to do this. Whenever you find some, make sure to grab it. Kinda of reminds me of Code Vein. It feels very Code Vein-y. I think Bandai Namco made Code Vein. No fall damage, nice. <laughs> what the fuck? This man's fishing with his hands? This man doesn't give a shit. What's this thing? Sage? Yeah, so for some reason, I guess the guy in our party who we're with, we he's not a part of our party or something, because I don't... I don't see his name next to me. Also, are we just gonna move on from the fact that one guy's name sounds exactly like Balsack? Balsef? Even the way they pronounce it. Balsef. Apple gel. Yeah, this is totally Code Vein. This UI is so Code Vein-y. Yeah, it's, it's, wow, it's like really similar. That is one enormous stray. I don't think we can take it right now. Giant Zoogles roam around certain areas. They're very hard to fight, but you can get rare items and a lot of SP if you manage to beat them. Yeah, we tried. We, we did a Zoogle in uh, the demo. That shit was pretty difficult, actually. That shit was not easy. We've almost made it to Ulzebek. Ulzebek. So I think I'm going to pass on that for now. Especially because we're playing on moderates, which is uh, like the second highest difficulty, Normally I think. I don't pick on the weak. Try harder. Don't go short off like that. Guess we got to roll with it. Here I come. Talent store. You're mine. Get your ass over here, boy. Everything's coming up Zephyr. Coming up Zephyr. I'm not gonna rush through this game or anything, by the way. I'm gonna see if I can play pretty, um... Uh, not like a super completionist playthrough or anything, but, um... 
You know, I'm not gonna like. It. Oh, I'm taking so much damage. What the fuck's going on here? Get away from my waifu. I think I understand what the combo thing in, in this game is. Like, you can, like, set up a queue of combos. So, uh, that's pretty cool. And that is pretty neat. Orange gel. Nice. Yeah, this is totally Code Vania. I don't know why I thought it was... I think I thought it was a different game, but... When I played the demo, I kept talking about how it seemed so similar. And that is definitely the code vainness in it. An opponent like this should be easy. You damn bitch. How does that do so much damage? Holy shit. Raise your sword. I'll run you through. I think I know what the problem is. I think, um... I think I want to change this one option we have. If we go to system settings... Yeah, input queue time. Let's put this on short. No, no, I must save it. What the fuck? Save it. So? Save it. Per parallax stone. Per pa Palaxa, Parallax Stone. Whatever the fuck that means. Okay, people, this is it. Ools are back. No sign of any Renin guardsmen. The Renins aren't as populous as the Danans. Probably figure stationing guards in a place like this would be a waste of precious manpower. So this is where the next safe house is? Yes. The last place they'd think to look for enemies is on their own doorstep. That is, assuming anyone actually made it here before us. Zephyr! Looks like we needn't have worried. Come on. I have a sneaking suspicion that something bad is going to happen to this guy because I don't remember him from the demo. I guess that's kind of a spoiler. But, uh, you know. Eh, whatever. These chickens just laid their eggs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm not really much of a dairy guy. Not much of an egg dude, I don't know. It's not really my not really my thing. Uh I'm not a recruit. Eh, what's the situation? Old Zion mine. Why does that- that sounds like Shion. Nope. Cool. Alrighty, let's uh, continue. What's this doing here? I love stealing money from Wells. I'm totally not a douchebag. Yeah, this is totally Code Vein. It really is totally Code Vein. Which I'm fine with, by the way. I, I like Code Vein a lot. It got kind of repetitive playing through it like 50 times. But, you know, it, it, it was still a really solid game. It was a fun little soulsy weeb thing. How the fuck do we get down? Or how do we find this ladder? Oh, here it is. That was pointless. Nice.
The Lord of Calaglia, like Balsack. Okay, what do you got for me, buddy? We have zero gold. Probably want to use these, yeah. Some of these seem really important. I remember these from the demo. Orange gel, restores 30% CP. Yeah, we definitely want to hold on to that, I think. Life bottle, a miraculous medicine that heals KO for one ally. Stone that keeps microbes at bay as it breaks. That's cool, I guess. Seems pretty cool for the most part. Type of grain found in climates. Isn't wheat, isn't wheat like bad for you? Isn't that like the new scientific evidence? That wheat is like hard for digestion or something? I always feel like it's hard to keep up with all this shit. Okay, okay. Let's see what we got here. What's your name? Nath? Zephyr, you made it! See? I told you there's no way Zephyr would have kicked the bucket. Fine, you were right. So, what's the plan? Well, we've got an ace up our sleeve and the enemy's in disarray. I say we strike while the iron's hot. So we're finally going head to head with Balseth. That's right. We can't afford to mess this up. It's now or never. Then now it is! We've all been waiting for this day for far too long! Leave the plan to me. In the meantime... Yeah... You two need to do something about your outfits. I have just the thing for your size. Stay right there, okay? I told you, it fits like a dream. I'm afraid we don't have any Renan clothing. I could find you some Danon outfits. But something tells me you'd rather pass. Is this really that important? In case you need reminding, I'm here because our interests overlapped. Nothing more. At no point did I say I've given up being a Renan. Now, now, let's play nice. How about you ask Nate and see what he says? He's our one-stop shop for info around here. With any luck, he might just know something. He might just know something. Ocean blue battle garb. Ocean blue clothing received from Tilsa that was made by stitching together pieces of cloth. Zephyr left your party. No, Zephyr. Why'd you leave? That's a sexy outfit that, uh, what, what's-her-face has. Miss, uh, Shion. I like that outfit quite a bit. So this whole thing with the Renan and the Zephyr, or the Renan and the Donan. I just want to look this up real- what- who is making that noise? The fuck? Is it you? Is that you? Well, that was the weirdest noise. You guys heard that, right? Yeah. Are we really gonna bet it all on Iron Mask and his Renan lady friends? I'm not sure I like our odds. Yeah, well, what's your other option, buddy? Take it in the ass by some dudes in silver armor. What the fuck is that? I heard it again! Jesus, that's a lot of lore. The Bright Eyes wear those huge armored suits and fight using astral arts and sicking their zoogles on people. But I think they said that Renan don't have too many people. They're low on manpower. So that's a good thing for us specifically. What can you tell me about the Renans? 
The big planet in the sky is their home world. Oh, really? Oh, cool. Oh, that's cool. Oh, cool. So we're not on we're not all on one planet. Nice. That's pretty neat. Very interesting. Uh, I think that's fine. I like to learn more about lore as I go on. I don't like to just like ask 50 questions at once. What is that noise? Is that you? Is that seriously you? No, it's not her. Who is it? You? It is you. Is it? It's so weird, man. It's so strange sounding. No, it's not her. Oh, it's someone above us. Is it you? God, it's so strange. Whatever. Whatever, whatever. We will continue nonetheless. Nath, we need your help. Ah, oh, damn. Never the manpower when you... Huh? Help, huh? What kind? Is it urgent? Well, no, not exactly. Well, in that case, would you mind helping me out with something first? The work's really piled up around here. What is it you'd like us to do? Anything you can manage. No one cares about us slaves. That's why it's all the more important that we stick together and take care of each other. Check in with that guy over there for details on what needs doing. And thanks in advance. You Thanks in advance. Could use our help? We can't chase after every little thing. Hey. Oh, lovely. Non voice acted. Nath sent us. You heard you might be a little short handed. Yes! You could say that. Didn't think he sent over the Iron Mask himself, though. That a brat ass with you? You sure we can really trust her? <sighs> Don't talk bad about my waifu. She's on our side. Zephyr can vouch for her. Hmm. Okay, just tell me what you need to do, bro. The name's Dyron. Hmm? <laughs> <laughs> that was a weird laugh. Kind of like these outfits these guys wear. I'm not sure why, but I just do. Guess. Whoa, fetch quest, yay. Lovely, lovely fetch quest. Okay, let's uh, get this cargo, whatever. Yeah, 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 yeah. Talking to someone with a letter icon will start a subquest. Clearing these subquests will earn you rewards, and you can accept them, as many of them as you like. You can also check each of their activities from the activity records. That is cool. That is cool. Very good to know. I had know. no idea the Crimson Crows were so active. You sound pretty thrilled by that. Thrilled? Maybe. But I'll settle for hopeful. We know now that not everyone is rolling over for the Renans. Rolling over for the Renans. Okay, so how do we check our quest? Uh, I don't see a quest bar. Hmm. Uh, I guess we just keep track of it by... I'm not sure. I am not sure how we keep track of it. I guess we just go to San Denis Ravine. <sighs> Try to be careful not to stand out too much. You're the only Renan around here, you know. I know. I was just thinking about how communal it feels here, even though it's only supposed to be slave quarters. Huh? Oh, yeah. When you put it like that, I guess it is different from heavily patrolled Mosgul. Were you expecting something more depressing? It's likely a sign that Balsef doesn't think you guys can do anything to him. What? I mean, if Balsef thought the Crimson Crows actually posed a threat to him, You'd figure he'd be trying harder to suppress them. You... Uh, 
Uh, no. You're probably right about that. All of the other Danans that aren't with the Crimson Crows accept the Renan's rule as simply a fact of life. From the day we're born, no, probably even before that, it's been drilled into us that the only purpose our lives have is to help select the next sovereign. If they don't like the status quo, then they should fight it. Otherwise, they're endorsing it either way. I see it differently, but that's just me. Speaking of Renans, do all of them think about things the way you do? I won't deny that among my fellow Renans, power and status are everything. However, that isn't what this is about for me. I have something I need to do. And I'll do whatever it takes, and use whoever and whatever I need in order to get the job done. To hell with power. Yeah, so obviously Shion has some... A little bit of a chip on her shoulder. It seems like everybody in this game does though, to be fair. Sand in this ravine. Yeah, I think I remember there wasn't actually any waypoints, or there wasn't any actual quest bar when I played this game in the demo. Which is a little frustrating, I guess, but it's fine. Ew, look at that cute little thing. You see that cute little thing? Right, here it goes. The fuck was that? Okay, get the hell away from me. It seems like they aggro onto Xion, which I'm not sure why. Probably because she's a healer. Or maybe because she's low health. Why is that one guy not helping us? So he's not with me anymore, that's why. <laughs> God, I do so little damage, what the fuck? That is such shit damage, actually. It's fucking like pathetic. It be worth something. What's up, little buddy? Oh, it's so cute. Look at it. Oh, it's so cute. I want one. Dog tail? Oh, that's what that thing is I was that's listening to. Bird. It's an owl. They're often used as a symbol to represent... Yes, yes, yes. I, I definitely saw this. This is what that noise was when we were in camp, yes. Ancient Dana. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, oh, oh. oh, I see, oh, I see. Uh, let's not face that thing yet, because it is quite difficult looking. I'm really liking this game so far. It's uh, it's linear enough for it to be... It's open world enough for it to be not repetitive, but also linear enough for it not to be super overimposing, if that makes sense. Because believe it or not, I'm actually not a fan of open world games. And that's kind of like, that That sounds kind of weird, but it's actually true. It's not really, not really my style. I find like open world games these days kind of suck. Also, how the fuck that hit me? Come on, come on, die. Back me. I need to save my waifu. Fuck off, mate. Come on, get your ass over there, boy. What the hell? Do something. Get away from her. I'm so protective of this anime girl. I'm definitely not a virgin. These little ones are hardly worth our time. Less talking, more trouble. Cut them apart to your heart's content. Yeah, so hopefully we get some more combos or some more moves. Our work is done here. Soon, too, because, uh... It's not looking so good right now for us in combat. We're kind of sucking ass. We are kind of sucking the big dick. Not in the good way. Okay, I will say that those, those backdrops look pretty shit. It may be just because it's daytime, but... It's so funny, this game is exactly like Code Vein in terms of the engine. You can tell that the engine is exactly the same. It's funny as shit. Guess I misread the landing. Eh, yeah, you're fine. Pick yourself up, boy. Do you have any items, by the way? Or any new, uh... I guess we can't check while we're laddering. 
Let's see if we have any more items. Do, 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 do. I'm enjoying the soundtrack quite a bit too. Soundtrack is quite nice indeed. Okay, let's see here. Um, we have a. That's much worse. Never mind. Doesn't seem like it, yeah. Seems like we have some pretty. pretty shittiness too. Change tactic details. Fight with moderation, no items. Okay. Uh, I see. Not really sure what that's about. Aerial attack leads to mirage. Okay, we know about that one. Fast hitting two sided. Oh, you can le you can level up your arts. It looks like yeah, 98, 68. Cool. Sliding attack that leads to a fast hitting sliding attack. Why do we have two swallow blades? That's fine, I guess. Whatever. Makes sense why I keep doing Swallow Blade, though. What? They're all dead? How did this happen? Soldiers, that's how. Are you... Iron Mask? <laughs> yeah, I am. Dairon sent me to help. Hang in there! I'm so glad you made it. In the bushes over there, you'll... Hang on! Sion, do something! It's no use. He's already dead. <laughs> Damn them! They've killed so many of us, and it's still not enough! They won't be satisfied until they've wiped us all out like pests! Uh. He mentioned something about those bushes. We should check them. Is this... a cooking pot? But what is it doing here? If I had to guess, he put it there to make sure Renan wouldn't steal it. So even though he knew he was dying, he chose to use the last of his strength to hide it, believing somebody would come for it. I guess you think it's stupid getting killed over a silly trinket, huh? No. Clearly he risked his life for something he believed in. I would never mock someone for that. However, it will be up to us to figure out the purpose behind his dying act. We'll make sure it wasn't in vain. If nothing else, this proves that the Renans can be outsmarted. We'll carry out your will, and see it through to the end. Then we better get going. We don't know when those soldiers might be back to make another sweep of the area. So this is what it means to fight the Renans. Sounds like you're kind of scared to me. Of course I am. But if I'm going Why to wouldn't he be scared? Another, Even though he's the main character, so nothing will happen to him. Okay, okay. Sorry, I was moving my ass because I am a fat ass who sits in a chair too much. Give me some of that antidote rock. How much CP do we have? So, 54? Mm. Yeah, there's nothing that way for us, I don't think. Actually, it looks like there is something there. Let's go take a look-see real quick. Oh, you can run, too. Cool. Very nice. Oh yeah, that chest. Never mind. Cool, so even some of the side quests uh, seem to be voice acted, which is very nice. I like that a lot. I'm not saying voice actors are, are lazy by any chance, by any means, by the way. They're not lazy. But I really dislike when games aren't at least like 50% voice acted. Because like the first two hours of the game, you're like, Oh shit, the voice acting's so good, and it's so much fun, and then before you know it, it's like fucking blah 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 blah, blah. nobody says anything, it's just like da 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 Let's see if we can kill these guys, get some more, uh, get some more XP before we continue. Also, can this fucking controller move? Shion, you need to- 
What the fuck? She got one shot? Are you serious? Okay, well, good thing we have some items. I can't believe she got one shot. Holy shit. I'm about to get one shot too. I need you, remember? Right. Ooh, get fucked on, bitch. Rising Wyvern! I'm not done! Rising Wyvern! Here I go! Rising Wyvern! She takes so much damage. I guess it, I guess she is pretty not very tanky. That sort of makes sense, I guess. This could be useful. Iron Shank, very nice, very nice. Hello, my good sir. I have completed your quest. Hmm. So nobody made it, huh? I'm sorry. If we'd arrived just a little sooner, we could have. These things happen? Uh, what a dreary fucking outlook. Uh? <laughs> When's daddy coming home? Kid, are you fucking deaf? We just told you your daddy died. Hmm. Don't lie to me. He's dead, isn't he? Almost like I just heard you say so, like, two seconds ago. <laughs> what are you guys so... You're, like, yelling! What are you talking about? How are you guys getting so, like, crazy over this? <laughs> Why is this a young Don Han woman? It's obviously a child. Yeah, well, the whole world's full of shit like this, so... Nothing that new. Pretty, uh, pretty normal shit, if I do say so. 800 gold and 200 SP. We also got an achievement called Rebellious Spark. Uh, what is this? Clear your first subquest, even the lowliest spark. Learn your first non-DLC title skill. Isn't that so cringe, how this game... I like this game a lot so far, but the whole DLC thing is stupid. The fact that they have to, like, learn your first non-DLC skill. Almost like we thought about DLC from the very beginning. As you fulfill certain requirements for each of your characters, you'll learn titles for them. You can spend skill points to learn arts and skills from unlocked titles, all of which grant powerful effects, making it worth your while to spend SP early and often. Okay. Okay, I think we got the gist of it. Let's see here. What do we have? Kind of reminds me of uh, Final Fantasy a little bit. Just a tiny bit. Allows you to dodge once while in midair. Summons a vicious gale as it strikes enemies upward. A hidden art that unleashes a barrage of thrust. Okay, some of these actually seem pretty fucking cool. Increased critical damage. A lightning fast swallowed by... I think we're gonna go for Sonic Thrust, simply because we already have a we already have a skill that knocks enemies into the ground. And I guess we'll also pick up a mid-air evasion. In terms of Shion, she only has one. Increases attack and elemental attack strength. I don't like skills like that because I don't like skills that rely on you being low health. Evades to the right, then fires two water shots. I like that. Yeah, I like that, because it's a good dodge one. I like this. Some good elements and whatnot. Keeps it uh, fresh and inter interesting. Let us go to bed, because I want to see if there's any like special cutscenes for going to bed. You have to fix your own food. That's it? No cutscene or anything? Press L- Damn it, I didn't see what that said. I couldn't see what that said in time, that's unfortunate. Um, 
Speak to Nath, okay. Let's go speak to Nath after I investigate nothing because I can't access that ladder. I feel like somebody's watching us. Maybe yeah? there's someone around here who needs our help. Sem oh, there, there's the owl again. Where is it? Is it inside here and I just don't see it? I hear you, Mr. Owl. Get your ass over here, wherever you are. Where are you, Mr. Owl? I want to speak with you. Because you have something I want. There you are. Oh, it's a cute little one. It's got little it's got like bunny ears and shit. Rabbit ears. Can you put these on? I'm Wait a second. Surprised there are owls here too. Yeah, there are more of them around than Wait a second. Can you put these can you put these on? No, please let me put these on. Come on. No, please. Please. Oh, outfits, here we go. Yes. <laughs> uh dog tail. What the fuck? I can't put no dog tail on. I will put on some rabbit ears though. Yes, yes, yes. I see, I see. I thought. Yeah, see, that totally makes sense. You're looking good now, Athen. Aether, whatever your name is. Athen. You're back, huh? Sounds like it was a real ordeal out there. They even show up in the cutscenes. Much as I hate to admit it. There aren't many of us who can take on those Renan armored soldiers. All we can do is make sure we remember those who sacrificed their lives for the cause. Yeah, they won't be forgotten. Glad to hear it. Now, what was that favor you wanted to ask me? Oh, right. Well, you see... So then, you're wondering if I know of any places where you can find Renan equipment, huh? Anywhere with those damn bright eyes is gonna have tight security, of course. You can't just go carelessly poking around. Unless... Across the wilderness, outside Ulzebek, you'll find the Fagan Ruins. There's some kind of old Renan castle out there. What with it being impenetrable, I forgot. But with a Renan tagging along, who knows? Maybe you can find some way in. You ask me, though, it's a lot of trouble for some Renan rags. If I were you, I'd get comfortable with Dan and Garbs. Those look like the ruins. Let's move. Are we really going in there? Yes, yes we yeah, are really going in there. Because that's where the main quest is, my friend, and we must follow the main quest. Okay, as much as I like these outfits, I think they're too immersion-breaking. They are very cute, but, uh, you know, it's a little too immersion-breaking, if you ask me. Even though rabbit ears on Shion are a tiny bit of a turn on, tiny bit, only a tiny bit. Hey Shion, where does your gun come from? What do you mean, where does it come from? When you're fighting, it looks like it just appears out of nowhere. Oh, that's transferal technology. When I don't need my weapon, I submerge it in empty space, and when I do, I summon it. Make sense? Not really. But it sounds pretty amazing. Huh? Well, that way you don't have to carry around any heavy weapons or worry about enemies trying to steal them, right? It's a pretty cool invention. You realize you're praising the technology of your enemies, right? So? Technology is technology. It's not good or bad in and of itself. I guess that's true. I guess that's true. I think we, uh, I think we actually encountered that comic book section in the demo. So it shows that you can access these, you can access these, uh, whatever, little skits at any time throughout the game. Okay, cool. Let's, um, where do we go now? Visit the foreign runes. And where would the foreign runes be located, exactly? Uh, uh, so somewhere around here? Nope. Probably back, uh, yeah, probably this way. D 
Don't mind me, sir. A ceremony held every- I was reading that, asshole. I really wish games would stop doing that. They give you lore to read and then they're like, oh, nope, sorry. Am I really doing this for some lousy clo- <gasps> There are Zoogles here, too? Hey! You should always assume there's Zoogles anywhere you go. We're a team, after all, and that means you need to pull your weight. So when I call for you, I expect you to clear out any enemies yeah. around me. Okay, cool. Is this like a new uh, new feature of the game or something? New, right? New combat mechanic or something? Is that why they never shut up in fights? Just a minute. Yeah, that probably is why that is, isn't it? You can summon allies in combat to use their unique boost attacks. Once the boost gauge is full, press the corresponding direction to execute. I see, I see. So, yes, I remember that from the game. Initiate a brute force swing attack that can down almost any enemy. Tutorial? What a tutorial? Eh? With that blade and your strength, the average Zoogle shouldn't be a problem, right? Oh, I need to change my settings. I need to change my arts. Yeah, let's go for Sonic Thrust. Get away from my waifu. Fires numerous beams of light from the muzzles of Shion's rifle. Effective on aerial enemies, it temporarily restricts their flight abilities. Very cool, very cool. This one's mine. I'll shoot them down. Oh, get the fuck? What the fuck? If it's in the sky, it's mine. Oh, so if it's a aerial enemy, it does more damage. That's cool. I never Hoggers? Teaming up with other party members for boost attacks allows you to keep attacking enemies longer. This one's all mine. You picked the wrong fight. How do you how do you change? Yeah, there we go. That's pretty fucking cool that you can do these attacks midair and shit like that. It's a nice mechanic. Looks like you've got the hang of it, but don't let it go to your head. Yeah, 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 whatever you say, woman. I know what I'm doing. Looks like it could be worth something. Ugh, you can hardly see anything from here. Why don't we climb up higher and see if we can get a better view? I think the view down here is just fine when I look at you. Hee hee hee. Come and face me. It's actually kind of annoying because they go for Shion right away. Okay, get the fuck off me. That was so stupid, man. That did so much fucking damage. It's absolutely crazy. Seems like I have a stamina bar for some reason. I'm not sure why, though. It's like my, my attacks just stopped doing attacks or something. Yeah, so this is kind of like Dark Souls. I know that I sounds really stupid, the but I can be. Still the reason why I say that is because um, you, uh, be yeah, shut up. Every day. Yeah, so you really want to like focus fire the enemies because if there's like four dogs like that, you're gonna seems like you take a ton of damage, which is quite annoying. What's this thing? That's what we call a potato. That's what we call a tater. Five hundred gold. So these are the Fagin ruins. How'd you figure a place like this turns derelict? Your guess is as good as mine. I didn't even know this place existed until we heard about it. All that matters to me is whether I can find anything to wear in there. Why does she care so much about her appearance? Because she's a woman. 
And some women like to care about their appearance, and some men do as well, like myself. Because I am a, a vain person. Okay, let's uh, take a look at the map, shall we? So we gotta make our way over there to the Farongan, Fungan runes. But uh, I would like to do a little bit more exploring beforehand, so... Excuse me. Guess I miss like What the fuck? I took so much damage already. Holy shit. Well, then kill him. Not too bad, not too bad at all. Let's keep our eyes on the prize. Okay, so I'm just uh, taking a look at the map real quick before we continue. Yeah, so I think I think I may split this game up a little bit. Um, I may play this off video and stuff. Do like little. I won't do any side quests or anything that contributes to the story, but I will do exploring whatever off camera because uh, that's something that just takes up a lot of time and not very entertaining to watch. So yeah. For now though, we'll uh, keep fighting enemies and uh, make our way to the runes. Let's dispose of the trash. Yeah, I need to like keep them off Shion because they seem to go to go for Shion very quickly. I think it would have been a waste to use the marksman here. attack Let's there, move. so I'm Run glad right I didn't. You, Alrighty guys, good time to end this video for now, I think about 50 minutes in. We shall, uh, I might not continue exactly from this point next video, but uh, like I said, I won't skip any story content. Uh, I'll only do exploring and whatnot, maybe a little item grinding or anything like that off camera. Until then though, thanks for watching, and I shall see you for the next one.